Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is custom agents demanding your Facebook password. If you've been following U.S. news recently, you're probably quite aware of the recent politics uh, around the U.S. executive branch recently. Uh, most recently, they've issued an executive order where, let's say, they limit immigration from seven key countries around the world. Now, I really don't want to get into the politics or any opinions of whether or not this ban or limit is, is proper, but I do want to talk about a subject that does relate to information security. Today, uh, the Secretary of the Department of Homeland and security uh, talked about how one of the things they want to do with extreme vetting, likely of people that come from these seven countries, is to demand people that are immigrating from these countries give up their passwords for their social networks. Now, of course, the Department of Homeland Security says they can use uh, your social network, logging on to your account to see what kinds of things you say to help vet whether you're a terrorist or a normal citizen. Now, no matter your personal opinion on on uh, immigration bans or extreme vetting, giving up your password is a very bad security practice. Now, this idea of looking at social media accounts are not new. I think even back in 2015, uh, the Border Patrol and DHS talked about at least getting uh, your aliases or your name on social networks so that they can see what different individuals post publicly. But demanding your password is a much bigger deal and really is a violation of privacy, but most importantly, Importantly, giving your password to anyone is not a great security practice. Personally, I don't think people should give their passwords to friends or even spouses. For instance, one day you may long, no longer be friends and suddenly they have access to your accounts. And there have been cases, by the way, where frenemies have suddenly posted things on accounts. Even with your spouse, perhaps your spouse doesn't follow your security practices and they use your password and get into trouble. In any case, passwords need to be private. Furthermore, if some of these uh, immigrants or people don't know good password security practices, meaning they use that same password on social networks, on all kinds of other accounts, they really are exposing all of their life to the government and perhaps even the businesses they work for. It's never a good idea to give your password to anyone. On top of that, how is the US government going to secure this? Sure, you might argue that the government is a good guy and they're only using this to see whether or not someone's a terrorist, but how do you know the border patrol agent won't use it for his own purposes besides just uh, putting it in a government database? Frankly, asking people to give up their passwords really is a huge privacy violation it really defeats the whole purpose of having uh, passwords in the first place and it can put these people and, and some of the companies they work for at greater risk. Anyways, whatever you believe about extreme vetting or immigration limits, forcing people to give up uh, passwords is not a good thing for anybody's security. Really, the only time people should be forced to be giving up their passwords is by some sort of court subpoena when they have evidence that they are a suspect of some sort of, of criminal activity. So anyways, it's just a very interesting story. I personally hope that people are not forced to give up their password. I don't think that's the right choice and it will affect everyone's security. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.